Osama bin Laden's gone is the biggest task now for America to get jobs back. More than 7 billion jobs lost since the recession first hit. And we are still struggling. Should the White House be taking a cue from Virginia? It's got one of the lowest unemployment rates of the country. Republican Governor Bob McDonnell credits low taxes and a lot less regulation. He joins me now from the Nasdaq market site. We just rang the closing bell. Well, da -da -da -da. Congratulations, Governor. Good to have you. Well, thanks, Neil. Great to be back on. And the NASDAQ uh, Virginia companies are up today. I'm, I'm excited. That's good to hear. You know, what's weird. I mean, you could have the NASDAQ trying to bid for the New York Stock Exchange yeah. uh, or enter into a partnership that could include uh, the German financial company Deutsche Bank. That would be bizarre. Well, there's been so many mergers and acquisitions over the last uh, couple of uh, years. In fact, NASDAQ listed companies are almost cut in half, primarily because of M&A. And so sure. uh, that's just the nature of business. And uh, it's, uh, it's an exciting but volatile time to be in business. Yeah, you're talking about mergers and acquisitions and, and all of that. The rule of the law in this global economy, in this global financial world, where so many of those companies at this fine site you're located at uh, do their hiring abroad. How yeah. do you entice them to do their hiring here in Virginia? Well, we say, first of all, Virginia's open for business, and we appreciate uh, entrepreneurship and wealth formation and people that uh, create opportunities for the American dream. Uh, that means lower taxes, regulation, litigation, strong right to work laws, great universities, and saying we want you to come and create business. We don't uh, do what you see sometimes in, in, the, in the White House and in Washington, and that is to find ways to punish business, to tax them more, to overregulate them. We, we've got to realize it's the free enterprise system and the private sector, they create wealth and opportunity, not government. And uh, that's a fundamental difference. And I tell you what, we cut spending to 2006 levels so that we have more access to capital in the private sector. And uh, now we're down to 6.3% unemployment rate and uh, things are coming back in Virginia. I think it's consumer confidence oftentimes can be bolstered by people in government to say, we want you to come and start jobs in our state. And that's what we're doing, Neil. Don't you benefit as well from your proximity to, to Washington, obviously, where you benefit from a lot of government jobs? Well, there's some of that, but over almost 90 percent of the jobs that we've created over the last 15 months since I've been governor of Virginia have been private sector jobs. Yes, uh, the public sector, federal jobs create some stability in the northern Virginia area, but overwhelmingly it's private sector. You know, what's interesting is if we look at a map of the states in this country with some of the lowest unemployment rates, your own among them, sir, uh, a common theme tends, not across the board, but tends to be very low taxes, low regulations. Uh, but but a push to seek out business, in other words, to actually aggressively recruit. Them. Now, Chris Christie in my state of New Jersey is trying that, but it's still a tough sell because by comparison, taxes in New Jersey and much of the Northeast are prohibitively higher. higher than states yeah. like yours. So what do they do? Well, they got to for follow the formulas that work, and that is removing the, in the uh, impediments to free enterprise, taxes, regulation, litigation, unionization, uh, those kind of things. Uh, but your, your point before is right. You got to run a state like a, a CEO of a business that is cutting spending and making things work better, and then go ask for business. I'm going to China, Japan, and Korea this Friday. I've been to Europe already. We're going to India and uh, Israel later on this year. And I'm going to sell Virginia and tell people why they need to invest in our state. You know, um, I know you always skew political conversations, to your credit, but uh, a lot of folks are already saying maybe this post Bin Laden uh, killing, uh, that the president looks like granite, that no one can, can even hammer at him now. Um, and I think it was Barbara Walters who said something to the fact, I feel sorry for the Republican has to take him on in 2012. What do you make of that? Well, first of all, this was a completely apolitical act. I give the president high marks for his leadership, his determination, and making the tough call to send those uh, great uh, men of SEAL Team 6 from Virginia Beach, Virginia, uh, into Pakistan to do that uh, mission. Uh, but ultimately, this has been 10 years of Presidents Clinton, Bush, and, uh, and Obama together uh, gathering intelligence and doing the right thing and fighting the war on terror to get this result. You know, next year, uh, Neil, what it's going to be in November 2012, is going to be back to the basic issues of the economy. It's going to be jobs, spending, and energy. And on all of those things, the president doesn't have a good, well-thought-out plan of how, how to promote entrepreneurship, how to promote small business development, uh, continue to foster American exceptionalism, have us uh, an energy plan that promotes American ener energy and you don't think that this could be energy. the wind at his back, Governor, that, that all of a sudden um, he might be able to get a, a sort of a lead on this debate 
maybe cow a couple of Republicans while he's at it. Uh, what do you think? As long as unemployment stays hovering around 9 percent and we have no coherent energy strategy for how to uh, keep uh, get America to be more energy independent. And as long as uh, the deficit uh, is one point five trillion a year and a debt at 14 trillion going to 20 under this president's budget. Uh, these are the pocketbook issues, Neil, I think people care about and are going to vote on. And so while I give him high marks for his decisiveness and the way he led on this military operation the other day on the domestic issues where people uh, need more access to the American dream and more hope. We're, we're, we're not cutting it. And this president's uh, plans uh, are not going to lead to concrete yeah, why results. Those, but why are all those stocks rising, right? It's been a good year. Uh, certainly came off a great month. Um, the Dow's up north of 10 percent. NASDAQ's yeah. been doing just fine. Something must be going right. Well, I give him credit for that uh, as well with some of those policies. But overall, uh, you got to get people back to work with jobs. Nine percent, absolutely unacceptable. It's heartbreaking for Americans. We're down to okay. six, um, a little over six in Virginia. And again, energy spending. Neil, if we become a, a debtor nation north of $20 trillion, which is where we're heading under this president's budget, uh, we're, we're not going to be the great American uh, nation we've been for two centuries. And that, I think, is what's going to drive this election. Cutting spending, making tough choices on entitlements, and getting America back in fiscal shape. Everybody knows that's what we need to do. And this president's policies aren't getting us there. Governor, thank you very much. All right, Neil. Thank you. All right, you killed Bin Laden. We unleashed.